We've seen examples of school violence across several districts. Conflicts escalate, students get into trouble, and in some cases, arrested. Jasmine! Everybody, we're going to collect it in a few minutes, okay? So just put it in your area, remember? Now there's a push to address these conflicts with the youngest of students through what's called restorative practices. It started as a response to the school-to-prison pipeline, which was kids are getting automatic detentions, suspensions, expulsions, then they're not getting an education because they're kicked out of school and then they're ending up in trouble. Take a deep breath. It is okay. Small problem, not a big problem. Hampstead Hill Academy in Southeast Baltimore begins its curriculum in pre-K and incorporates it into every classroom. When we do a compliment circle, we make eye contact. And when we do a compliment circle, we say thank you. Classes start at least three days a week with community circles. In Ms. Knudsen's third grade class, students take turns interacting with and complimenting each other. You help me calm down. You are thoughtful. Williams, you are really kind. Thank you. Isaiah, I like it how you share coloring sheets with me. As the students get older, the topic shift. So today's circle question is two. You can choose which one you want to answer. In Ms. Locke Jones seventh grade class, students share ways the world could be more inclusive and who makes them feel included. My friends make me feel very included. Someone who makes me feel inclusive is my parents and my friends. Uh, I think a way we can include people is just to check in on them and ask like everyone like how they're feeling. Johns Hopkins Institute for Education Policy released a study on restorative practices, saying it focuses on three tiers, reaffirming relationships through developing social and emotional skills, repairing relations and resolving differences, and finally, rebuilding relationships. As teachers and as a community, like making sure that our classrooms are like a safe space, like that's something that's said a lot but making sure our classrooms are brave spaces where students feel like their voices are valued, that they can have really important conversations, and that they feel comfortable having those important conversations is what really happens in middle school. Accountability is a major component of restorative practices. On Fridays, seventh and eighth graders gather for an assembly and take turns apologizing to each other and others. Hey, I want to apologize to Cameron for throwing water at her face yesterday. LGP. I would like to apologize to Miss Lojo for not doing that great on the essay. I'd like to apologize to my mom because on Monday I woke up really late and she was really late for work because of me. So. LGP. Great start. That's followed by acknowledging each other in a positive way. I want to acknowledge, acknowledge the SCA for putting together the Spirit Day and it becoming a success. LGP! I'd like to acknowledge Danny for lending me a dollar today. I want to acknowledge Eric for inviting me to his job. Now go ahead and read over the overview for me. Teachers say one of the keys to resolving conflict is getting students to process their emotions and ask, what do I need to move on? We're really teaching children how to say how they're feeling, how to say what they're noticing, and what they want the solution to be. And then being able to come to a compromise about, hey, I need you to start doing this because it makes me feel like this, or hey, I feel like this when you do this. Eighth grader Daniel Impoco says she uses the skills outside of school as well. There are lots of friendships that you like, just don't want to ruin. So just making sure that you like understand the problem and like sometimes it's hard to make the first move because you don't want to seem like you're doing you're like you're the problem like you're the problem. So like just taking the first step and taking initiative is like a really big um, step. Principal Matt Hornbeck says his goal is to prepare these students for what comes next. Building emotional intelligence and equipping students with the skills they need to communicate and solve problems and connect and relate and see and hear each other is basically the whole game. I'm super proud of you guys with thoughtful compliments you gave each other. Deborah Wiener, WBAL, TV 11 News. I'm telling you, I think we could all do some of that where we work too. Well, 11 News reached out to Baltimore City Schools for a reaction to the City Council resolution to incorporate restorative practices into schools and we are waiting to hear back.